Eddie Fainer in the early 1980s Eddie the King Fainer was an American softball player. Fainer was born in Walla Walla, Washington as Merle Vernon King. He was a softball player for much of his early life, and turned his attention to the sport full-time following an enlistment in the U.S. Marine Corps. He first assembled his four-man team, known as the King and his court, in 1946 and took on all comers, first in the Pacific Northwest and then around the country. The team was known for performing tricks that entertained the audience. The King and his court touring team played over 10,000 softball games in 100 countries from the late 1940s to the beginning of the 21st century and achieved widespread fame similar to that of the Harlem Globetrotters. Fainer's meticulous records claim 9,743 victories, 141,517 strikeouts, 930 no-hitters and 238 perfect games. The Washington Post described him as the greatest softball pitcher who ever lived. Despite his substantial record, Fainer said that while his team was known for taking on local softball teams and often winning by considerable margins. The intent of the king and his court was to entertain audiences, never to embarrass opposing players. When a man steps up to the plate, we have nothing but respect for him, he was noted for off-quoting. The king and his court was a four-man team, pitcher, catcher, first baseman, and shortstop. When asked why the team had four members, Fainer answered he had been told no team could take on his pitching so he should reduce the roster to simply himself. Fainer accepted the dare and originally wanted a two-man team of himself and catcher, but increased it to three in case an opposing player got a hit. He then added a fourth player when he realized that if all three of his team were on base, no one would be up to bat. In honor of his time in the Marine Corps, the king and his court often played against military personnel, often at venues such as army bases or the decks of aircraft carriers. They had also been known for donating considerable amounts of ticket profits to charity, and following Operation Desert Storm, had put veteran support as the chief charity they played for. On February 18, 1967, Fainer appeared in a celebrity charity softball game against many Major League Baseball players. In the game Fainer struck out Willie Mays, Willie McCovey, Brooks Robinson, Roberto Clemente, Maury Wills, and Harmon Killebrew all in a row. Fainer retired from pitching after suffering a stroke in 2000 but continued to tour with his team, acting as MC and telling stories while the team played. The team was satirized on a 2006 episode of the Fox sitcom King of the Hill entitled You Gotta Believe by a team called the Ace of Diamonds and His Jewels. Fainer died in February 2007 in Huntsville, Alabama. He is buried in the Huntsville Memory Garden Cemetery. Fainer was inducted into the Baseball Reliquary Shrine of the Eternals in 2013. Thanks for watching.